So what do we do when worry and anxiety threaten to overwhelm us? Today we're seeking both practical and spiritual answers to that question. Later in the show, we'll have a special report about a man who invested heavily in real estate. Now he's at risk of losing everything, and yet he says he's at peace. Impossible? We'll find out. And we'll also now, examine how- we come back to the consumer. We can't blame it all on the government, everything. We've gotten situations where we, we, we've uh, took out loans, we can't pay them back, and that's what happened. And our first guest is no stranger to the highs and lows of the economy, President of Caldwell Asset Management in New York and Vice President of Caldwell Investment Management in Toronto, Money Manager Theo Caldwell. Thank you Not for joining us. Uh, who was given a mortgage in the last several decades should have been given a mortgage. Um, but what happened with these mortgages given to people who couldn't pay them back was they were bundled together in what we call mortgage-backed securities. And they've gone all the way around the world into various institutions and banks and financial institutions. We found and found one funds. story of a man who says he's got peace that defies all understanding. Here's our report. Well, this house is a very interesting story. Um, if you look around the neighborhood, this is a predominantly middle-class area and uh, like over here, but a lot of these houses are starting to go in foreclosure. You have a lot of your Jeep worker, your automobile workers, and they're losing their jobs. And if they can't have any income, they're gonna lose their house. It's become an all too common story. Millions of homes across the United States in foreclosure. Millions of jobs lost. Here in Toledo, Ohio, Adam James isn't about to lose the shirt off his back. But as a man who makes his living by investing in real estate, flipping some houses and renting out others, his losses are mounting. This house has been on the market for almost a year. Mm -hmm. And I think I may have had two or three viewings right now. When I bought this house, uh, it was during the downturn of the business cycle. And uh, I think in retrospect, I, I should have waited a little bit longer. This is one of my favorite houses to me. I think this is the most beautiful house one I have. When I bought this house, it didn't look anything like this. It doesn't look that great right now, however, but I bought this house off someone who was struggling. Um, they were about to lose their home, and I was able to get it from them. But in that process, uh, when I was rehabbing it, uh, I see, really have seen the effects of the economy. If you look up here, that's a window busted out. Up there, different things are happening. People are breaking in continuously. Um, I've been robbed almost four or five times. In my years of doing real estate, I have never seen anything like this, the amount of thievery, because since people can't work, they result to stealing. So everybody's affected. We're all connected through this whole process. And it's amazing. Um, I think I've had almost $40,000 of material stolen from this place. And every now and then, when I get discouraged, I just come here <laughs> and go and walk around, because I know through the end, it's going to be done. And I know it's going to be together. While his discouragement is understandable, Adam isn't complaining. He knows that millions of his fellow citizens are suffering far more. Let me show you. I had to board up this house because of the amount of break-ins. And this is an excellent neighborhood. This is not a bad neighborhood. You know, I had to put wood right here uh, because of, it was continuously. And so, but I realized a lot of the people that were stealing you know, they, they have to feed their families somehow. You know, yeah, I'm the guy that has to deal with it, but I know they, people do things in desperate measures. That's why it's always good to rely on something. When things are not right, you have something greater than yourself because there's always gonna be problems. It's all just how you respond to it. If he sounds like a bit of an optimist, he is. Adam responds to problems by looking for solutions. At the end of the day, it's gonna come back to the consumer. We can't blame it all on the government and everything. We've gotten situations where we, we, we've uh, took out loans, we can't pay them back, and that's what happened. Well, I think this house that's standing right behind me is a very nice house and it can't get fixed up, and they, the landlords can't fix this house up and make it decent. You know, it's, it's amazing when you look at this situation right here. We have a family, two parents are really working hard. They probably make, maybe make minimum wage, and they're doing their best to support themselves. But right next door, we have a house that's empty. You don't know what the history behind that. Maybe they lost their job or they couldn't afford it and they got kicked out and it's abandoned. And these kids can get hurt. That's the joy about real estate. I can come in here 
take this abandoned house that is devaluating everything, throw a little love in it, put some care in it, not much, and give a family an opportunity. That's what it's all about. It's not about money, it's not about how much you can make, but it's about helping. We all benefit. Of course, sometimes a, it uh, is uh, about money. Adam insists village, he's not uh, disingenuous. He's simply chosen to order his life around different my, priorities. Like the reason why people are panicking uh, is not because the situation is bad. They're living at the moment. It's because of fear. I think whatever you subject yourself to, that's how you react. They're watching TV and everybody's saying that. But I believe that I'm in purpose and I, I follow a different divine order. I'm, at, I'm calm because of God. My faith is not in what I have. See, I could lose all this. I could lose every property. <laughs> I could lose everything. But that peace is going to be there because my faith is, is in God. The son of a pastor, his father built this church. Adam has taken his childhood lessons of faith to heart. The greatest thing he taught me of everything was a faith when everything is going wrong. I've seen times I thought the church was going to maybe go in a different direction and how he sometimes when I thought he should give up, he didn't. But he believed in something greater than himself and that's purpose. When you believe in something greater than yourself and you really believe and know that God is with you, all things are possible. And I really just want to tell anybody right now, no matter what situation you are, either facing foreclosure or insurmountable debt, or if you don't know how your marriage is going to work. Believe me, with God, all things are possible. And he'll work it out if you trust him. Trust me on that. I'm a little witness. It says in the Bible that he'll give you a peace that passes all understanding, your situation, uh, the economy, your finances. And if you focus on that, that's what's going to happen, I believe that.